Hi guys, it's Storm Reed here. I'm going to be talking about my first, but make sure you go see The Invisible Man, February 28th. I'm so excited. <laughs> First acting credit, a Sprouts PBS Kids commercial that I did uh, when I lived in Atlanta and I had to like lay in this bed and be woken up by a dog. It was super cute. First interaction with my Euphoria co-star Zendaya, my big sis Z. It's funny because I first met her in 2012 at a Ben and Jerry's. She was eating ice cream with one of her good friends. I was getting my ice cream and I was on the way to the movie so I was like kind of in a hurry. Then I heard a familiar voice so I turned around and I saw her and got stuck for about a minute or two and then I finally got the courage to go say hello and that's when our relationship started. <laughs> we met at Ben and Jerry's and now we're here. <laughs> First time you were starstruck, the time I met Zendaya. I was literally stuck there for like a minute or two and then my mom was like, you gotta go over there or we're gonna miss the movie. So I went over, I said my name. I don't really remember what I said. I don't think I probably even spoke English. It was my first starstruck moment. First impression <laughs> of my Wrinkle in Time co-star, Miss Oprah. I hadn't met her until we almost started filming. It was pre-production and Miss Ava actually brought me out of the room when I was doing school and she was like, I have a surprise for you. So I'm really weird with surprises because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. So she takes me into a room and Miss Oprah was sitting right there getting her hair done. And I go to introduce myself, but she was like, stop. And I freaked out because she knew my name. Like I didn't have to introduce myself. That was another starstruck moment of mine and she was super nice and, and super humble and down to earth. So I'm glad to have her in my corner now. First memory from the set of Euphoria. Ooh, that feels like such a long time ago. My first memory was probably um, one of the scenes that me and Z, Z did together. Uh, and it was just a, a chill scene of us just being normal, I guess, and, and being like big sis and little sis. So that was one of my favorite memories from the set because it was early on and it was the pilot, but it was also a time where I, I, I felt most excited because I wanted to work with her for the longest amount of time. So just to see my dreams come to fruition was cool. <laughs> First time you realized you wanted to pursue acting. I remember, remember <laughs> going up to my mom. She was sitting on the couch watching a movie and I went to the left side of the couch and I told her, I was like, mom, I wanna be on TV and I wanna be a superstar. So I don't know a lot of three-year-olds that are walking around saying what they wanna do for the rest of their lives. So that's why I really feel like that, that that's my calling. First thought that came to my mind when you read When They See Us script. I was emotional. Um, I was emotional for two reasons. I was emotional that Miss Ava um, presented me with another opportunity to be a part of such an impactful project, but also I was emotional because I didn't know the story of the Exonerated Five before Miss Ava, so I will forever be proud to be a part of history and, and be a part of that project. First red carpet event. I think my first red carpet was the 12 Years a Slave um, premiere. And I wore like this gold dress and I was obsessed with Hello Kitty at the time. So I like wore this cheetah print gold Hello Kitty purse. I thought I was the hottest thing around town. First career aspiration. I mean, I think it was acting because um, I started so young, so that's what I've always wanted to do. But I think my backup career aspiration was to go to culinary school and become a chef. First favorite memory that comes to mind from set of The Invisible Man. We all went to the Sydney Opera House and we had dinner and it was an amazing view and we all got to bond before we got on set, which I feel like is important to cultivate relationships with people that you're working with before you get in to doing all these emotional hard things. So that's my, my favorite memory. First cell phone. I was just talking about this the other day. My first cell phone was a flip phone, I think I was around the age of, of six or seven. It was because my mom worked a lot and she didn't feel like it was necessary for me to have like a big boy phone or like an iPhone at the time. But I loved that phone. I didn't know how to text. There was no games, but I just felt like I was cool because I had a phone. <laughs> first, ooh, 
incorrect rumor you read about yourself. I try not to read comments or try not to read rumors about myself, but I did come across one that was absolutely outrageous um, saying that I was bleaching my skin. I, I don't feel like I was hurt, because of course you know something that outrageous is not happening, but I think I was confused and like, why would somebody write that? First role you really wanted, but it went to someone else. Ooh, um, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of roles that I worked really hard for and that I, I really wanted to be a part of that particular project, but I learned from a very early age what's meant for you is meant for you and it won't miss you, and if it's not yours, then you don't want it. So um, I'm glad other people were able to get blessings and I've been able to get other blessings as well. First piece of advice from Ava DuVernay, Miss Ava, that she gave you. I would say there was a time we were on set, it was after the forest scene and I had to be dirty and wet, so I didn't feel like my shoes were dirty enough. And she said, always look out for your, you and your character. So I feel like that was a great piece of advice because that, it, it, I really realized that you also have to make sure that your character is being portrayed in the right light. So that's something that I'll never forget. She probably doesn't re even remember having that conversation with me, um, but it's something that stuck with me. First time you were recognized in public. I don't remember the first time I was recognized, but I can tell you the first time that I was recognized and I felt slightly uncomfortable. I was on the way to New York. I was in the restroom at the airport in like the airport lounge. And I had to use the restroom really bad. So I like run in the restroom and I'm using the bathroom and someone says, hey, are you Storm Reed? So we end up having an entire conversation. I didn't want to be rude, but we had a, an entire conversation while, while I was using the bathroom, which was pretty odd. And that's happened to me one more time after that, so that was interesting, but I love meeting people that I inspire and that support me, so I don't really think it's that weird anymore. <laughs>